I remember watching her just in terrible breathing distress. She didn't fully conquer hers till she was 40. My father didn't conquer his till he was 50 and he stopped dairy. My sister conquered hers when she stopped dairy and wheat, I think. You see, I'm fifth generation Australian Scottish descent. Obviously, dairy farming is not in our history. If dairy farming is in your history, possible you have the enzymes that can break it down. But I have people have told me that they're fifth generation dairy farmers and there was a little brother who couldn't handle it. So they gave him goat's milk. Where did that gene come from? The mother who actually wasn't from the dairy genes. <laughs> it's very interesting. Called epigenetics. So imagine my concern when my fifth child is in severe breathing distress with asthma. The first four didn't, but the fifth one. <clears throat> he conquered it at the age of two. Because I, by then, knew what to do to strengthen the body. And he was diagnosed with severe physiological asthma. And what are we told with severe physiological asthma? That there is no cure. I'm so glad that we live in an incredible body that's got an inbuilt ability to heal itself if you give it the right conditions. Many people don't know those conditions. You will learn them this week. You've come to class and you're going to be learning this week the most effective form of education. It's called experimental education where as we teach it, you will be experiencing it. So let's get back to what's caused the damage. 92% of DNA damage, the research is showing, is caused by a mineral deficiency. How could we be mineral deficient? Well, there's a few reasons. I always like to look at the why. Why are these things so? Newton's third law of motion states to every action there's an equal and an opposite reaction. There is always a cause, there is always a reason. So why are people mineral deficient? Well, we've got to look at what they eat. And in his book, The Calcium Lie, Dr. Robert Thompson, he shows that 80 years ago, <laughs> The soil had about 80% more nourishment in it than today. So if the soil's deficient, the plant's deficient, and the human that eats that plant is deficient. Now sometimes it can seem discouraging because yes, there's organics. If they say certified organics, you can believe it because the regulations around certified organics are strict. If only they are a little bit stricter on conventional farming. So please, you can believe it, because a farmer does a lot of work to get that certified organic stamp. What about the neighbour who's not growing organic? Do you know, you, you cannot be fully, uh, you know, fully guaranteed, but you're doing the best you can. And you can start to grow a little bit yourself. But if you're in an apartment, you can have a few pots. 